Massachusetts Institute of Technology researchers have concluded that three planets are actually stars. That in a report at spacechatter.com. Yeah, getting the Pluto treatment. Mm -hmm. Now I remember the days when Pluto was our ninth planet and still hold dear to that dream, if only for nostalgia's sake. Now people are throwing around classifications all willy-nilly, I guess. Well, I guess not so much. A handful of planets discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope have gotten the Pluto treatment. Kepler measures light as planets transit, they say, across the front of stars as it's looking, and scientists create charts with the data that look a lot like this. That's how they find these planets. So it's not nearly as sexy as actually looking at the planet. Anywho, a recent study finds that three and potentially four planets were misclassified and are likely small stars. Now, isn't that embarrassing? Well, the MIT researchers used updated measurements of planet-hosting stars to double-check the size of the planets and concluded three were simply too big to be planets. So what does that mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's press on, shall we? Researchers say the three objects known as Kepler 854b, Kepler 840b, and Kepler 699b Ha, those names sound suspect already. <laughs> I kid. They're estimated to be between two and four times the size of Jupiter. Prajwal Nurala, the study's first author and graduate student at MIT's Department of Earth, Atmospheric, and Planetary Sciences, somebody who's very smart, suffice to say, said, quote, most exoplanets are Jupiter-sized or much smaller. Twice the size of Jupiter is already suspicious. Larger than that cannot be a planet, which is what we found. For example, researchers looked at both the star and planetary candidate, Kepler 845b. It was spotted through a transit detection in 2016, just as we discussed. Using more accurate measurements from the European Space Agency's Gaia mission, Nerala found Kepler 854b to be three times the size of Jupiter. Scientists say that there is no way the universe can make a planet of that size, saying, quote, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> They did. It's a quote. I don't know if they made all those gestures, but I'm always a fan of staying away from the absolutes when it comes to what we know and don't know about the universe, but I am not a rocket scientist. Using the Gaia measurements, after looking at more than 2,000 planets, they discovered three more planets that are actually stars since they are two to four times Jupiter's size. If I had glasses on, I would be looking over the top of them right now. Researchers say this correction, as they call it, was very small based on an overall observation count and don't expect the same issue going forward. So let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> Although I still think Pluto got the shaft, but I digress. You can check out more info on this and other cool space news and updates by clicking in the link in the description below and head over to spacechatter.com.